Okay, today we'll be using Pixlr. So just go to your browser and type in pixlr.com and it should take you to this page. You're going to scroll down and you have two choices, Pixlr Editor or Pixlr Express. Today we're going to look at Pixlr Editor. Okay, and you have choices of create a new image or open image from computer, um, from URL or from the library. We're going to go up here to open image from computer. And um, you should have downloaded a letter from Google Classroom, and maybe it's on your desktop, maybe it's in your pictures. Anyway, um, I'm going to pick a letter. I pick E. Okay, and here's my letter. And now... It is transparent, so I can recolor it. And so just come on over and get a um, paint bucket, actually. And if you use this first one, HSL, it won't give you anything but black. So move on over. You can use any of the other ones. I'm going to start right here with the web colors. And I'm going to get my paint bucket. I'm going to start coloring just like you would in a coloring book. I'm going to ask you to take your time and color three of these letters today. When you're done, you're going to go up and go to File and down to Save. And you can name it anything you want. E, it doesn't matter. And um, change it to um, a JPEG, okay? Change it to a JPEG and then click OK and it's going to save to your computer. You can save it anywhere. I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Then you're going to go over to Google Classroom and you're going to turn it in in Google Classroom. So you'll go here and click on the Pixlr letters. When you click on that or you can click open, there should be two buttons, one that says add and one that says create. Choose Add and then choose File. Navigate to your file and click Turn In and you are done. 